We had just experienced a um, about an 18 inch snowstorm followed by uh, about an inch and a half of rain followed by about six to eight more inches of snow with, uh, so with some wind and drifting and all of that um, within like a 36 hour time period and um, it was too much weight for the, for the freestyle barn roof uh, that was over our cows. So about one in the morning, uh, about 276 feet of that came crashing down. It came down mostly on the feed alley, but any cows that were in the, in the alley eating or in the stalls that are by the, the feed alley, um, they, were, they were trapped or under tin. And so it was, uh, it, it was pretty traumatic. You know, you go up there, you see that, and it's like, what do we do now? You know, what steps? To, it, it's in the middle of the night, the snow's blowing, people can't get through with the roads. Dwayne and I just stopped um, what we were doing and said a prayer. You know, we just needed wisdom. We needed to know what step to, to, take, to take next. And, uh, and so we just said a prayer asking for that wisdom and to know how to make decisions and what decision to make next. And then it was time to get to work. <laughs> The first day we were humbled. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it choked up. <laughs> but um, every time we turned around, someone else was coming. Every time we turned around, someone else was calling, uh, offering prayers, offering support, offering a meal. Dwayne and I were humbled all week. You know, the entire week we were humbled by other farmers giving up day after day. One farmer was here just about every day. The trusses came by Wednesday. This happened Friday. The trusses came by Wednesday. And by Saturday, all the tin was back on the roof. Yeah. In the end, uh, we, we lost about a dozen cows. We care for each one, and that was tough. But considering there were 600 plus in the barn, uh, we felt very blessed that the, the statistics weren't worse. We're never promised that we're going to have a rosy time. We're never promised that we're going to have days where everything goes well. But we have each other to help us get through. And it really, uh, it really helped us. It, it helped our morale. Um, it gave us strength to know that we had people in California, people um, in Florida, people in North Dakota praying for us, calling us, giving us support. Um, it, was, it was a beautiful thing.